change, uncertainty. That is a new normal. There's people out there asking themselves, when are we going to come out of this period of change, constant instability and unpredictability? The reality is, that is the new normal. The time when we actually get out of change and things go back to normal again is gone and it's not coming back anymore. And it's important for all of us to realize that this is the time to actually start learning about how do we continue to thrive and succeed in that environment. If anything, the last couple of years were a big wake-up call for all of us. If you're looking at what's happening, everything that happened in the global economy, even South Africa, especially last year, I mean, we saw the worst of it in terms of politics, the economy, what's happening socially, and even technologically. Some refer to this era as actually VUCA. And VUCA is an acronym standing for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. It's a buzzword right now all over the world, and everyone is asking themselves, so what do we do? That's what I would like us to talk about today. And I think to understand about this, this phenomenon that we're living in the world at the moment is we have to understand that all the change and instability, all of it, is actually externally driven. All of it is driven by forces that we cannot control. And so if we're thinking about positioning ourselves and our organizations to strive and succeed, it means understanding that the focus needs to be internal. What is it that we can do with ourselves, with our businesses, so that we can actually be able to be the kind of individuals that can navigate the uncertainty? You look at anyone in the world, the most successful businesses, the most successful individuals, they do this right. And they're the ones who understand that it really starts with being the kind of individual that is able to stay true and authentic to their real and their most core selves, irrespective of the changes that is happening around them. But you know what? This is something we all struggle with, especially when we're under pressure. You know, I've spent my career, I've traveled 30 countries and worked across six continents. And I've seen this issue affecting, you know, the senior executives that I spend most of my time with, right down to the individuals in the front lines. We all struggle under pressure. And instead, that is the time when you should be saying, how do I start connecting more with my real and most authentic self? That sense of solidity that can actually help me become stable, irrespective of what's changing around me. This idea of authenticity starts with having the courage and the audacity to bring out your true and real self to the world and not being shameful about it. If you think about it as individuals, what do we do under pressure, right? When that moment of crunch comes, we let the imposters sit in the driver's seat. The world doesn't want to be led by the imposter that sits within all of us. They want to be led by the most authentic and real version of yourself that you can be. Even organizations struggle with this all the time. When we're under pressure, that's when we're challenging our strategies. That's when we're challenging everything that our business stands for. And I'm saying that is the time to stay true to your core. Instead, spend the energy focusing on execution and getting that right. We all know that in times of pressure, that's what our businesses struggle with the most. It also means being the kind of individual who understands the importance of actually focusing on your strengths and actually building on them over time, because you know what? You can only become exceptional and be unique in the world by building on that which makes you different. That's what it means to be an authentically driven individual. So we need to get out of this mentality of constantly over-obsessing about our weaknesses, and actually instead, let's build on our strengths. Let's understand our strengths and actually use them to have an edge over the world. This is also true for our value propositions as organizations. Because what we tend to do is we see pressure, change, and instability, and we start questioning our core offering. Instead, focus on what is the essence of your offering and make sure that you consistently deliver that to your customers. Ultimately, during these times, that is what they're looking for from you. That is what they need. That ability to connect with something that is true, consistent, and authentic something that they can trust. So if you really start digging into what I'm saying, you'd realize that when you start shifting more towards really being authentic, understanding the importance of leveraging your strengths as an individual and as a business, you're starting to get to a point where you can realize that this will help you build their resilience and the agility that you need so that you can continue to thrive. 
Now, in my talks and workshops, I go into these topics in much more detail and go into the depth of unpacking about how do you actually make these work so that you can succeed going forward. I look forward to working with you in your conferences going forward. Thank you.